Dan Larson here, and I am at the photo booth to go through some mail. First up is Seth from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, uh, Seth, I almost said Shreveport. Shreveport sent in a bunch of stuff. Seth sent in a bunch of stuff. Uh, back here uh, in the way back, we've got uh, plush, plush, gigando head Boba Fett. Uh, he's on a little bit of a stand there. He's adorable, kind of like a. Kind of like if you took a Funko Pop and made it fabric. That's what that thing looks like to me. Uh, obviously, Seth knows I'm a big Boba Fett fan, and I'll just add that one to the collection. Uh, we've also got a uh, Loyal Subjects Tila here, uh, which is, uh, it's funny, uh, because uh, that's a line, you know, when they first introduced that line, it was definitely a line that I wanted to collect, but I'm not a big fan of blind boxes because I don't like I don't like spending the monies on the things and not knowing exactly what I'm going to get. I don't want duplicates. This isn't, you know, me... I know that, look, I know Boba Fett's standing right here, and I just said I don't like duplicates. Just pay attention. I don't like getting blind box stuff and then having duplicates of these figures and then trying to, you know, keep having them, like, drop money, drop money, more money, trying to get the one you want. So it's funny because uh, you folks out there have been so generous as to send me in figures uh, that I actually have a pretty decent collection of Loyal Subjects uh, figures at this point. Uh, I definitely have He-Man and... S I don't think I have Skeletor... He-Man, Stratos, Tila, uh, Beastman, I think, maybe. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to check. I don't actually have them all together. I think one or two of them are up on the shelf right now. But I didn't have Tila, and now I have Tila, thanks to Seth from Shreveport. Uh, Seth also sent in uh, Reaction Spock here, uh, the uh, uh, Force Awakens Flame Trooper, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this came out of a uh, Disney... Yeah, came out of a Disney set. Disney has these, uh, Disney Store has, probably on their website too, has like uh, sets of figures for movies and whatever. And I think he came out of that set. There was probably like eight or ten figures in the whole set together. And uh, that is the uh, Flame Trooper. Uh, Seth also sent in uh, these Build-A-Figure parts. There we go. We've got uh, the uh, Odin... The, this is from the All Father wave. We've got uh, the cape. We've got the old Thor head, uh, as well as uh, Yarnbjorn, the axe. Uh, this is uh, Dormammu's uh, waistcoat uh, and hips, I guess. Uh, this is uh, funny, just for the same reason as uh, Tila there, is uh, you folks have been so generous sending in build a figure pieces that I almost have a complete Dormammu. Uh, and actually, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, next week might have to do a video where I uh, go through and break down what I do and don't have for build a figure parts because I'm pretty close on several of these. Uh, I definitely don't have a Dormammu head. Not sure what else I need. I think I, I don't think I have his legs either. Uh, and then of course this uh, abomination. Uh, I think this is abomination. Pretty sure this is abomination. Uh, arm. Uh, once again, I think I have a abomination. I think I have head. I think I might have head and two arms now, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. That's you know, that's a good video. Somebody write that down and let me know. Uh, remind me that that's uh, a video I want to put together. Is what I do and don't have for for build a figure pieces. That's not me wanting uh, you know be begging you to send stuff in and complete my collection. It's more of like a, hey, you know, if you're gonna send stuff in, here's uh, here's some pieces I need. Uh, next up, we have uh, Robin from Minot, North Dakota, 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 Minot, North Dakota. Uh, <laughs> Robin sent in uh, this t-shirt, it's a Soundwave t-shirt, with a really fantastic, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this in here, uh, a really fantastic uh, print. It's got Soundwave and all the cassettes are ejecting out of him, uh, and it says, say hello to my little friends. Look at that, everything's still standing up in the background. And that's fantastic, I love the shirt, I love Soundwave, I love the cassettes, I would love to wear it. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not a 3X tall, uh, so that may get made into a pillow or a poncho or something. Uh, either way, I'm going to find some use for it. It's very generous. I thank you very much for that. Uh, just, you know, if if somebody wants to send in a shirt or something, I'm a medium. Uh, could probably also do a large. Uh, I'm 6'2", six, 6 six, for those who meet me in person. I'm tall. Uh, so 3X three, three is a little... It's a little on the beefy side for me. Uh, I'm guessing that probably came out of like a... Uh, loot crate box or something like that anyway so you probably don't even know i don't even know how the sound size stuff on that stuff works but uh anyway that was that's from robin also from robin uh is these uh clear tiny uh marvel figures i don't remember what this line was called it came out a few years back they're basically just like muscle men muscle figures uh and uh all kinds of different characters in uh they got released in several different colors and these uh look at the way that dude is glowing on camera holy cow uh, this one's the thing in delicious, 
delicious orangey orange uh, or lemon. I'm not sure what that would be here. Uh, this one's orange, this one's lemon. This is an Onslaught. Uh, this is War Machine. Hulk with a board. Doc Ock. Uh, Iron Man, and I'm gonna be honest, I do not know who this is, and I'm not sure if the camera is gonna be able to pick that up close enough. Let me know who in the heck that is supposed to be, because I don't know. He's a little glittery too, this version. Uh, I did, I picked up a couple of packages of these when they came out, just, just for the very idea that they were like little muscle Marvel guys. They're harder plastic than Marvel, uh, but that's neat, and uh, I, it, I'm like the the person who had to go through the packages to make sure Hulk was green, Spider-Man was red. You know, like I I wanted the color that they were in to sort of make sense. So green Hulk that that's Aces right there. That works for me. And red Iron Man that works too. Actually, this is a decent color for War Machine, but uh, those are all pretty cool. I definitely have a clear like a white clear just regular Vision uh, around somewhere. Uh, and then uh, Robin also sent in uh, this vintage. Complete Roboto. When I say complete, I mean uh, complete. He included uh, the mini comic. This is uh, Battle of Roboto, uh, and then of course also his uh, his other two hand attachments, the clamps and the axe. I love Roboto. Definitely in my top uh, five, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, uh, Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, Characters vintage. Uh, this one's gonna need a little bit of work. Might have to, might have to talk to Toy Poloi on this one. The uh, gear mechanisms aren't aren't connecting in here. I'm not sure if we got a blown a blown gear, or just some misalignment that uh, are making that not work. But uh, it, uh, I put a piece of uh, there's a little piece of uh, putty under here, just keeping his mouth shut uh, so that he doesn't look like he's surprised. He's like that like that cat with his mouth open all the time. That meme cat. Uh, but I love Roboto. This is one in great condition, and it's it's a real big surprise to, to get a complete vintage Roboto uh, in a package like this. So thank you, Robin. Uh, up next is Izma, I-Z-M-A. That's how it's uh, written. I'm not sure if that's a, a first name, a last name, or just like Prince, where it is a name from Plantation, Florida. Uh, Izma sent in the Marvel Legends Songbird back here, which uh, is cool because uh, that's a piece I had not purchased uh, from the Infinity War wave. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't even really know who Songbird is. <laughs> That's how uh, disconnected I am from the comics right now. I don't really know uh, what book she's from, where she's in, what she's doing. I'm assuming she's an Avenger. Uh, but uh, we definitely, I saw this figure uh, for the first time when uh, producer Greg and I went to Hascon last year. Uh, and uh, this was one of the figures that was on display. I like the, uh, you know, glowy sort of plastic pink attachment here in the background. I feel like Phoenix should have come with one of those. Uh, this one was uh, in a bubble mailer uh, and uh, got a little bit of uh, a bend to her leg there. That's an easy fix. I will definitely be taking care of that. Uh, and just another strong female figure from the line that uh, whether I know anything about her or not, I dig the figure and that's really great. Um, also from Yzma were uh, some other Build-A-Figure pieces here. This is a trend throughout this video. <laughs> Uh, these Build-A-Figure pieces go to the uh, Mattel DC Multiverse uh, Doomsday, which uh, I don't think I have any other pieces to this currently. I'll have to check. I'm not 100% positive. Uh, I don't even know who was in. I don't remember who was in this wave. Uh, there were definitely a couple characters that I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to grab that guy, and then I didn't. Uh, and that's what happens a lot of the time is uh, I think I'm going to get them, and then I see them in person, and I'm just like, nah, I'm going to save the 20 bucks that day. Uh, but hey, almost there. Almost there. It's almost done. He'll be in the recap, uh, the Build-A-Figure uh, uh, collection video next week or whenever that's happening. Uh, Yzma is also an artist. Uh, I, for, uh, and I knew, I knew when I received the package that it was, something cool was going to be inside because it had this awesome black and white sticker on it. Uh, and uh, he was also kind enough to include several of his art books here, uh, all three of them. Um, check his work out at, I should have written this down earlier, I know there's some stickers in here. Some stickers. Um, anyway, it's spelled I-Z-M-A. I'll, uh, I'm slacking here, I didn't do my, I didn't do my homework. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, Instagram is Yzma, Instagram.com slash I-Z dot M-A. Uh, check him out, check out his work, lots of cool stuff there black and white line art type of things. A, uh, an artist after my own stylistic heart. Uh, good stuff. Thank you for sending those in. Yzma. Uh, up next is Jason from Big Bear Lake, California. Uh, Jason definitely watched the 
uh, translucent clear figure collection video that we posted not too long ago and noticed that there was not a clear Power of the Force mail away exclusive uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So he sent one of those in. This is a figure that has uh, made its way in and out of my collection uh, from time to time. I definitely had it back in the day uh, when it was first released. I had every single figure from the line when it was first released. Uh, I had I, I ordered five members of, you know, the uh, band, the cantina band guys so that I could have the full band and you end up with like 30 different instruments. Uh, this, the Fruit Loops Han Solo, or Fruit Loops is what I ordered them from anyway. The, the Han Solo is Stormtrooper. Uh, this one was always kind of weird because this pose, you know, like they they just used the same mold from the fi- the other figure, except you know it's it's like a lot of uh, custom cast makers do today, uh, where they break the figure down, but there's no there's no articulation, so his head doesn't turn, his arms don't move, and he's just kind of like I don't know, he's just kind of like pointing. But he's a cool, clear figure, and I'm glad to have that back in my collection. I don't know what happened to the last one I had, but uh, when uh, when I opened up the package in the mail, I was like, huh, what did happen to that figure? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, that was from Jason. Jason, thank you very much. Jim from hum- Humboldt. Uh, oh, did I mention Reaction Spock over here? I don't think I ever mentioned Reaction Spock. Reaction Spock was from Seth at, uh, from Shreveport. Um, uh, lastly is uh, Jim from Humboldt. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't even mention Boba Fett. Jeez. Uh, Robin from Minot, the uh, second bit of mail that we were covered here. I'm just trying to move too quick here. Things are getting left out. Robin from Minot sent in Kenner Fett number 380. This is ridiculous. Uh, I feel like every time I open the mail now, I'm like, there's one, there's two, and that's... It's amazing. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, uh, I... It, it, I can't even, look, there's like 15 videos on the channel that talk about how much I love this figure, and it just, I get so excited every time I see it, every time I see a new one, and there's nothing I could possibly see about it that is different other than, you know, the scratches and the dents and the wear on the piece, and it's just, I love it, and I can't, if, if you don't, if there's nothing in your life that you don't already feel that way about, I don't, I can't explain it to you. It just, it, it, it warms my heart. It's a joy every time I see this guy. And just thank you, hey, thank you to Robin for sending that in for and making the set 380 now. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, back to Jim. Jim from Humboldt, uh, Kansas, sent in uh, all these, uh, I believe this is Silver Age, uh, all these Silver Age comics. Lots of, uh, we got Jack Kirby on uh, Mighty Thor. So yeah, this is uh, 1960s, which I believe that's Silver Age. Uh, look at this, I mean, 10 cents, uh, Cole's comics and action figures. Um, this is just, these are, these are books that I've never read before. I, <clears throat> even when the, you know, Marvel has their like trade paperback collections and stuff, their, uh, what do they call them? The, uh, masterpiece masterworks. Um, I, I still, I didn't, I never went back and read all these. I'm familiar with the work. Obviously I know the Jack Kirby stuff. I've seen some of these panels and moments and stuff. Ooh, look at this Saturdays on CBS. We got, uh, the new superheroes, space ghost, Frankenstein Jr., Superman, Dino Boy, uh, Dino Boy, Battle Prehistoric Monsters. I don't know, Dino Boy, that's a new one. We're going to have to do History of Dino Boy. Uh, Hyo Silver, we got uh, Lone Ranger down here, and then The Impossibles. That is cool. But we're getting, we're getting, getting off track here. Uh, these, I assume, are copies that uh, were non-sales. Uh, and then back in the day, they would, uh, newsstands, you would have to rip the cover off to prove that you didn't sell the book. Uh, and then this part you were just supposed to chuck in the garbage. Uh, but uh, this looks like somebody salvaged them, put them in a uh, three-ringed binder, and uh, saved them. And there's just, man, there is art. There is art in these books. Thor, uh, Blue Beetle, Batman, Batman and Robin, more Thor, Thor, this one, Devil Dog, <laughs> Fighting Devil Dog, I don't know that one. Uh, hold that town for a dead man. Shadow, Batman. This one's funny because it's a, uh, this cover is actually a, a laser print uh, piece of paper to put a cover on that one. Justice League, just fantastic stuff. Uh, just incredible. I, I genuinely appreciate that. And these are books that uh, I'm definitely going to read. This one looks like it survived a fire. Uh, Jim also sent in a box that had a bunch of Build a Figure pieces, uh, which I said uh, previously was a theme we were going to cover on this particular uh, episode of Dan in the Photo Booth. Um, lots of incredibly awesome Build-A-Figure pieces that uh, are going to definitely 
necessitate me. Um, sorry, I'm digging through a box here. I don't want to. I don't want to just pull the whole box up and slam it all down in the booth. There's uh, a lot of pieces here uh, that uh, were generously sent in by <laughs> Jim. Uh, I truly am stunned by the amount of Build-A-Figure pieces that came in this box. Uh, I just will have to put that video together that has... It's a lot of arms and legs. Um, not a lot of heads, but I am not by any means uh, complaining about this stuff. This actually is not a Build-A-Figure piece. This came from uh, Muppet Labs, I believe. I believe that's the gorilla head that went with uh, Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's there's some other gems in this box from Jim. We got a Terminator figure, uh, but he's missing an arm. And, uh, you know, Darth Vader here getting zapped. Um, just a lot of, uh, of <laughs> really fun stuff. And I, uh... I don't know, man. I can't, I can't say thank you enough. Thank you, Jim. Uh, thank you again to everyone who sent stuff in. Seth, Robin, Yzma, Jason, Jim. Getting all this stuff in the mail, all the P.O. Box videos we've posted recently has just, it's been a totally unexpected part uh, of having the channel. We, get, Greg and I never expected so many people would want to share the collecting hobby with us like this. Uh, the letters and notes that are included especially warm my cold, unfeeling heart. So, thank you. And thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Later.